Hello, welcome to this video of the Ferrari FF. This is the 6.3 V12, 651 brake horsepower engine. The engine is in the front, powered by a seven speed box, sequential box. So it's a dual clutch. A very rare car. It's got a top speed of 208 miles per hour, which is more than enough to get you into trouble. So this vehicle is a 2012 registered vehicle. It's covered just under 28,000 miles. It's got the full Ferrari dealer service history. I think it's had a total of nine service stamps. So it's nine services, all up to date. Next service isn't due until next year. I think it was serviced about 1,500 miles ago. Has a fresh MOT. As you can see, it's in outstanding condition. There's no scratches, no dents, no different colored wing mirrors or bumpers. Everything is as it should be. So the 20 inch alloy wheels, the yellow brake calipers, and it's got the ceramic brake disc. So as you can see, ceramic disc, which are huge, very big. It's got the uh, badges there. I say only 2,291 were ever produced. There's the gloss black roof. There's a privacy glass pack as well. Okay, let's start in the rear. So just get the keys. So the rear, got this lovely lever, the Bordeaux lever. All carpeted in the rear here. This box here, this box. As you can see, it's got the suede lining as well in the boot. So all this is suede, all hand stitched as well. All the all the stitching. It's a 12 volt power socket there as well. So it's all suede lining all the way through here. In here, you've got your Ferrari tool kits. And then your suede carries on throughout here, around the window frame, and the leather parcel shelf cover. And the suede here as well, absolutely immaculate. 
no scratches going on here this is all nice and clean no nothing's been dragged out of this boot a1 condition let's just close the boot inside so it's beautiful leather also on this vehicle it's got the expensive option the carbon pack so it's got the carbon fiber handles for the doors the paddle shifts there the steering wheel what's the top and bottom of the steering wheel with the carbon pack the center console down here all the buttons and all the way up here as well with the airpods all carbon fiber very expensive option it's got the uh, fully electric seats heated of course and electric lumbar supports and the memory as well so there's a three setting memory for the seats beautiful leather absolutely gorgeous as you can see this one's very low mileage it's 20 like i say 27,900 miles in immaculate condition no wear or tear at all on the on the leather no damage even down to this kick plate on the door here this ferrari kick plate here totally totally scratch free aluminium pedal pack a standard so this gorgeous leather and carbon mix so you can see the carbon fiber there uh, and then the leather which is all hand stitched all the way through there and the top of the dash as well all the way across there with the white stitching and if that's not enough it's also on the inside of the roof the roof line is also leather with the stitching there absolutely gorgeous obviously these are embroidered ferrari logos here as well on the headrest the sun visors here they're all leather stitched as well look in the back so that's electric as you can see that moves back electrically and here you've got this tunnel all leather covered as well the leather air vents surrounds as well drinks holders there 12 volt power in this little center console here these seats do sit adults as well they are full size seats. There's this is a four seater, it also has got the uh, Isofix anchoring points as well for the child seats. Fitted car mat set, tailored to fit. Backs of the seats are very clean, no signs of any damage or scuffs or marks. Okay, go around the other side, show you the other side. Same again, totally unmarked seat, the bolster, nowhere at all. It's got the uh, manual booklet there as well. It's got all the service history, it's also got the Ferrari warranty. This vehicle, it still has the Ferrari warranty uh, for a few more months. So that's included here. If we press this little, we've got this little phone. So you can put your phone in there. If you can see, there is a little charging point there as well. So that's the USB there. So you can put your phone, it's actually for your iPod, should we say. Put your music's in there and you connect up to the car. Okay, same here, you've got an open button there. We press that and it drops the glove box. That's the glove box there. It's also got the uh, aluminium kick plate there for the passenger as well, which is a nice little touch because not many cars have that. Take a look in the back here as well. So that seat goes back. As you can see, all that's nice and clean and unmarked.
also the passenger front seat is also memory as well which is obviously a bonus because they're same again 90% of cars do not have the memory setting on the passenger side what I'll do now is I will pop the bonnet I'll look under there So here we have the beautiful V12 6.3 normally aspirated engine. So no turbocharger, just a normally aspirated engine. So instant power. So you've got everything like the assembly number as well down there. You can see the assembly number of the car. Immaculate engine bay. It looks, it looks 200 miles per hour stood still, that engine. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start it up and show you the rest of the features. So we get the key. Sit this. Okay, sit in here. So I'll put the key in first. The key in the side there. Turn everything on. So you've got the lights at the top of the steering wheel. You've got everything lit up now. You've got the sat nav saying accept. So we just accept that. Got all the controls here. So, so I've turned the key. Obviously it's saying the bonnet's open. So on the steering wheel you've got the uh, damper control, start engine button, indicators. So there's no indicator stalk. There are buttons obviously here. So that's a button to turn left and to turn right. All you do to cancel it is simply press the button again. So you've got your carbon fibre paddles there, your F1 paddles. You've got your sport mode, comfort mode, and you've got your traction control button off as well there. You've got your wipers there, it's your wiper control there. And that's for your lights as well. Obviously you've got no stalk to pull back for your lights, that's what you're using instead. Then down here you've got your computer, your cruise control as well. That was just the uh, electric seatbelt presenter you heard there. So the mileage on this vehicle now, if you can see there, the bottom 27,998 miles. Got half a tank of fuel left. So, we'll start the engine. What I'll do is I will put the camera near the exhaust as best I can and I'll press the start so yeah, excuse that I just pressed it lightly I should have pressed it and held, hold the button down so as you can hear it's a very throaty Beautiful sounding exhaust. Just show you the engine again with the engine on so you can hear how quiet it is. Obviously, the LED lights as standard or daytime running lights or DRLs I'll close the bonnet now
going to rev this so you can hear the exhaust that's absolutely awesome absolutely awesome this is the closest you will get to a Formula One car I mean, when I, I'm going to blip it again because the sound is absolutely out of this world Back to inside, so you've got all the uh, menu, as you can see, got the files, you can store music there, you can store your pictures, you can view the map, it's all touch screen, so you've got the presets for the radio, just press the nav there, the climate control which is dual zone, left and right climate control. You've got your launch button there, reverse gear, auto button gear, electric window switches, You've got your drinks holder here as well with the uh, sliding shutter. That's the sliding shutter there, so you can hide, hide a few things under there. You've got the little centre console as well, with the cigarette lighter or 12 volt output there. Okay, so uh, there you have it, a very, very nice car. I'm going to walk around it once more. We just put the window up as well, so you can see the uh, darkness of the front windows to lift both windows because the front windows are factory tinted so they've got a very very slight tint to it also it is double glazed as well this vehicle if you look at the glass now here you can see there's two pieces of glass which are bonded together so it's a double glazed window so it's sound insulating glass Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please message us, email us. Uh, we've got a Facebook page as well. You can message us through that or just pick up the phone and simply call us. So yeah, thank you for watching and hope you get in touch. Thank you.